is the small town, thousand meters high. Man, there are more sheep than people here. Spring water, yeah, this is the name of the place, and it says here that this water is not checked, meaning as it has no fluoride, guys. Now, now, now we're friends, guys. Here's the sheep. <laughs> <laughs> it's time for the ship to go away. <laughs> it's time to sleep for the ship, guys. <laughs> this is Alvaro, guys. Is uh, the angel that God. Um, gave me tonight uh, that uh, really helped me he invited me in his home gave me this little room here which is very very nice guys and comfortable there's also bathroom there and everything and this is my stuff here and they also uh, we also um, had dinner together and it was really really nice guys with the fire and everything he had his sister that is unfortunately a, a covidiot and uh, sh she would uh, vaccinate herself and uh, can't wait to, to take the vaccine and uh, we try to like convince her and everything but she unfortunately <laughs> was firm in her beliefs so anyway it was it was nice i hope uh, god will open her eyes but uh, her her daughter uh, has already taken the vaccine and uh, and it's it's sad guys unfortunately so thank you god this was patrick patrigo guys in very mm, uh, remote uh, little little town a thousand meters high guys beautiful experience thank you god yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Time to get out. Ah, you build it up good. Sono No, no, vanno da quella parte. Via, là. Forza. Ma i piccioni, come mai? Per piacere. I piccioni, ecco, beh, no. Anche questi. Anche questi ogni tanto. Uh, I have no words to describe uh, this guy Alvaro and all his family did for me guys all for free very great heart great people really unbelievable so the town that I'm going now also is uh, really really small guys look at that there are just a few homes who knows if there is anybody there but hopefully uh, we'll find a place where to sleep tonight so Today guys is going to be a hard one because uh, in this uh, place where I came uh, nobody helped so uh, but luckily I found this uh, wooden uh, house you know very little just uh, just just the space for, for to sleep you know luckily there were there were one of those uh, chairs that opens and can stand like uh, almost flat and there, uh, there I put my uh, mattress and the sleeping bag. So uh, I will pretend to sleep to tonight because I don't think I will sleep. I mean, this thing is all covered. There is also a, a glass here and everything, but uh, it, it's gonna be hard. Let's see if I will make it. Well, it went fine, guys. I managed to sleep very well here, even though there's uh, some gaps here in the wood. Yeah, but it was good. So this was the house where I slept. This wooden thing here. The church was empty, but I managed to sleep well. Now I have to climb these huge mountains. So I don't know if you can see it with my phone, guys. It's very bad, but uh, there is like a valley running through these mountains, and it's called Valnerina. It's like a strip of land which is flat and uh, 
runs through this uh, thousand meters high mountains. So now I'm going to this uh, next town, which is of course thousand meters high, uh, called uh, um, yeah, Monte San Vito. Whatever. <laughs> Let's see what happens here if I will get a place where to sleep. So this town is abandoned, guys. Almost. There are only two people living here, and uh, no one of them. Um, uh, had place for me and uh, also one of them told me to just leave because uh, there are wolves here um, the, the other day he said we saw three wolves walking just around the, the city here this town but again that doesn't scare me you know I mean just to climb here it's more than 900 meters it was was what I, what I have you know put in mind it will be just suffering no problem for me but um, I saw one spot that I, I will show you now um, where it was like covered enough maybe I'll pass the night there let's see so I will show you now guys the spot here it is it's like a balcony with uh, with stairs here so I climb here and it has two entries. So it's closed for three walls except the entry here. And I measured the radio frequency, there are no radios. So maybe it's uh, off. And so here it's clean. I'll put the mattress here. This will be the creepiest uh, sleep of all. You know, the guy told me there are walls here and I wanted to tell him you are the wolves, man. He had ways to, to help me, but he didn't. He had the, a wooden little house, but he didn't want me here. He it's, it, it told me to go back to the valley. Wow. So I managed to slip somehow, guys. But, um, you know, the term I rest here, my sleeping mattress, uh, is... Uh, has a hole, as, uh, it's punched, so it doesn't hold. So this is bad news. It's spring water, so the town was built uh, in a spring water. <coughs> now I'm leaving this town. It's a creepy place. So this place is pretty, pretty wild, guys. I already there's also snow here. Um, <coughs> I saw some. Uh, Deer, how do you say with those uh, animals without uh, without the horn? Yeah. So luckily, um, I'm in the middle of the the, the whole uh, tracking for today, yeah. And so I arrived at this point where there is uh, spring water, and I think I will uh, cook some rice here because I don't have any other food. Fonte aduzo zootecnico. So I just saw a fox over there. And this was, no was, is a creepy refuge, guys. A little creepy. But you know, it's just good. <laughs> just to stop. There's a calendar somehow. And it's good, you know, to cook some rice, guys. And then I will decide if passing the night here or not. But it's very creepy. Some rosmarino. Yeah, I found this. Uh, this uh, this uh, iron thing uh, to put in fire and I'm dropping wood inside there yeah. but the only problem is that this uh, fireplace is not uh, is very high so there's lots of smoke so I don't think I will pass the night here it's it's impossible now it's ready and uh, it's time also to eat this junk so finally I get rid of it there's some apples I cut some days ago there are all other types of uh, apples and that's it this is just salt it's just, uh, just like that. so we here humans are outsiders guys we are in wolves and animals territory here i would not be surprised because i just saw it just a couple of hundred meters from here a fox and a deer before that so maybe maybe i will be visited by wolves but again as i've said many times the more dangerous animal is humans the sheeple <laughs> I 
found this little um, uh, village in the middle of nowhere. Uh, it's pretty creepy, you know. But um, uh, so I had, of course, choices. I um, I was going to uh, to a bigger town this town this time with much more uh, to find a place, uh, not a creepy place like this, where to sleep. Uh, but um, and I met a guy who told me while I was going down this to this town, which is down there, called Monteleone. He told me, "Look, I have a B&B. If you want," uh, and I told him, "How much do you want?" Uh, he told me like 25 euros. So, you know, I, I I always live, you know, paying for just sleeping as a last resort, like last option. So when I find something like this for free, guys. Uh, I opt for it. So there's a stove here, but I can manage to put it inside and hook all the, the tubular things, whatever. So this is the situation. It's uh, I found this guy had beds, and the the good thing that made me made this choice is that it's very clean. It's very clean. It's creepy, you know, but there's a door that can be closed. Creepy noises over there, but you know, I'm I'm used to this. It's much 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 better than the place where I was with the wolves there. There are horses there, as you can see one here. There's a horse, so it will keep me company. The sun is going down, and I think you know I made my decision. I will sleep here. Much better than giving them. You know, I know that uh, at least once a month I need a shower and. Uh, you know, a good sleep and everything, but not this time. There's a, there's a television here. You would think that the sheep would get rid of the television, and that's all. They get a better one. And also, the roof here is amianto, which is very, very unhealthy. Well, it's it's a, a, a can, cancer. Cancer gives you cancer. So, uh, but luckily, it's not raining, so. This is this guy, you know. He just uses this to store his uh, machines, you know, work in the field, whatever. And uh, and that was the town, as you can see there, that I was going to. Uh, this uh, gives me the possibility to not climb that uh, that hill over there tomorrow, so it's good. Well, I would have climbed it today, so much better. So let's go and have fun tonight. So I managed to put this uh, thing, this <laughs> old thing, this stove on, you know, and it's burning very well. You know. I have, uh, you know, not that much smoke inside. It's clearing. Uh, it's clearing now. So I will be warm also. Very cool, man. All for free. This is the next day, guys. I slept very well here. There's ice everywhere here. Even there in the valley. Look at this view, man. Beautiful. And I wanted to mention this uh, this town here, guys. When I came, this town is called Trivio. Like trivia, but Trivio. And whatever, you don't care about the name. Um, the, I uh, People here are aware, guys. I met uh, two people, one swiping the street, you know, just working for the state, cleaning the streets. This guy was knew about 9/11 and all this stuff, you know, and uh, was aware of, about the vaccine and all this uh, scam, you know. And <clears throat> when I came here to this town here, uh, the uh, to buy some bread because I didn't went here because I usually um, don't want to show up in huge cities, guys, because there are pigs there, guys, that can just end these things as soon as they see me and see that I'm not in the region where I should be, like a good sheep. And so here, the the business owners of uh, the Alimentari, the, which is the, where they sell your food, you know, were very aware, uh, especially this lady, that gave me bread and uh, some uh, walnuts and uh, cheese, Italian uh, local cheese, very good. <laughs> Look at this lonely place, guys. Uh, this is Chiavano. It's this small town. 
and uh, it's not clear from my phone, but uh, I am in a section now where they have like uh, tried to kill these people with the earthquake. And so there's two issues now. People have no homes here, and, and in fact they live in these uh, prefabricated houses. You can see it here on this phone. And, but the, down there there's uh, the, the real town. So I have two options here. One is to go first to this town and then to, to this one, which is slightly bigger, slightly. But uh, the fact that the roads are unpaved, it's, it's creepy. I think I will just lose time on this town here. Let's see. So this is uh, Chiavano, guys. Uh, Chiavano, uh, key, means key in Italian. Clavanum. Clave, like, like uh, the key in, in Latin. So we can see the, the Templars V. And uh, uh, this rather uh, devilish uh, circle of uh, plant that has a meaning is joining you know and also of course the crown there and the idolatry here but again guys again i was very lucky this place has heating also and i'm uh, I'm, I'm using this uh, opportunity to wash my my things because i really stink i really stink it's uh, when you walk guys it's uh, but the, the the good thing is because when you are uh, like uh, walking in winter like I am maybe you stink a little bit less because it's cold so bad news guys is that tomorrow it will rain but the good news is that these people were awesome they gave me this place uh, heated and with light and everything I will be really comfortable here guys I really needed this after some rough sleeping uh, this couple of days they also, I want, I really want to thank Marco, guys. This this guy was from Rome. He really, I mean, whoops, I almost lifted this thing. And uh, he really, look, look at this. So these are fruits, uh, orange and two mandarins, uh, two uh, clementines, whatever you call them. This is bread, and look at this, guys. This is lentils with uh, a bit of meat. Awesome. I like that when you have no choices and you know why I accept this guys because I have no choice there are no shops here when you do this walks like I'm doing guys the towns that I'm going through are towns like this like uh, Chiavano which nobody here it is here it is again Chiavano uh, so that is the Latin name you know but this is the Italian name what you saw now so the Marco, look, look Marco guys, this is not for Marco, this is from other two ladies that saw me and they listened to me and uh, they gave me this guys. And I had to accept because there are no shops in these small, small towns guys. They want people out from, the, from here. And as I said, this, this town is in an earthquake area. They have tried, as they've done in California, hitting people with a laser. Uh, uh, destroying their homes here they have destroyed the homes of these people with um, with the earthquake as I've said many times so it's double uh, harder to find now in this area a place where to sleep because these, pe these people do not even have their home they live in the, like small houses that are constructed just for for that so I want to show you um, where is the ah sorry I, I put it here yeah, look the, this is Marco, bread with uh, meat, I mean awesome, I, I have no words guys. And so since there are no shops here guys, as I was saying, I have no way where to f buy food. And, and, and at times I really don't have uh, to eat and I have like rice, just to, to, to cook rice because I have no, nothing else. But now, uh, since it's raining, you cannot even cook rice in the mountain guys, as I do usually. Here, the, the wood is wet, you cannot burn, it's, it's, it's a misery when it starts to rain. So hopefully it won't, won't last for days, you know? but it's hard. And now guys, I'm getting kind of close to this uh, 3K, which is the mountain where I'm going, but not yet, it's still a hard walk, hard uh, some days again. But uh, now I'm moving to a new region. 
So uh, that's it. I, I really thank these people. Uh, Anne, Marco was was the guy from Rome that uh, just works here. Um, it was really awesome. And uh, one just one thing because it's, it's kind of. You know, but I I can see why he did this. The guy that accepted uh, gave me you know the possibility to sleep here uh, after Marco talked to him. Uh, was uh, asked for my ID, so I had to give me a, give him uh, my ID. So that's all. For the rest, it's awesome, guys. There's a kitchen here if I want to to like. Uh, there's a, there's stuff there yeah, that I could use to cook something, but I have nothing to cook, guys. So uh, that's it. This was awesome, really. <laughs> I really needed this. The ladies, it was funny. The ladies that, that uh, gave me this, they were like afraid. Oh, we have to, to give you this, but we are afraid of the virus. Okay, okay, I said, I, I, I move away. Please leave it here. <laughs> what can I do? <laughs> Amazing, guys. But Chiavano wins, guys. Chiavano, the Masonic M here, with the devil horn here. The people here in Italy, guys, do not give hands anymore. And it was very usual to give the hand to someone, you know, to shake his hand, you know. And uh, and I was thinking, you know, because even this guy that helped me, called Marco from Rome, uh, when I when I tried to to give uh, to shake his hand, uh, he he gave me like the wrist, you know. And and I was thinking, th this dude after. Uh, after a while, you know, make this uh, this panino, this uh, this uh, bread for me. You know, he prepared with meat, uh, meat and um, and uh, formaggio, do you say cheese and cheese? You know? So he 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 of course touched the, those things that I ate. You know, so what's what's can you can you believe the the, the, the craziness here, guys? You know, it's, it's unbelievable how stupid these people are, man. It's, it's unbelievable. I mean, they will not shake your hand, but uh, but yet they will give you the 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 the, the uh, cognitive dissonance. How do you say, how do they say? You know, it's unbelievable. You know. Here you can see a mountain with snow. And uh, guess where I am now, guys? Well, unfortunately, <laughs> sooner or later it would have happened again that I had to pay to, you know. So this is a place uh, they lowered the price like for 25 euros, but it's good to have a shower once in a while. Where is it? Here it is. So this place is like a, a thousand meters high already, and the mountains over there are of course much higher. And um, and this is like uh, the only uh, village here, town, that uh, was not affected by the earthquake. But all the rest um, are destroyed. Well, kind of, you know, the elite. But since uh, this one, oh, it's uh, kind of raining. Yeah, by the way, uh, I have rain in the next day, so it will be painful to continue this walk because they they say that they will have like uh, lots of lots of rain. While I was coming here, all the other towns uh, were impossible because uh, people were not friendly as the other times. This day was very unlucky. So this was Saturday, guys. Tomorrow is. Uh, the last day of this week and I will do like the mix of all the week and I will upload this video so see you tomorrow let's see what happens uh, tomorrow I will be covered in rain so this is a monument they have on all squares of Italy uh, about you know the the COVID of the time you know of the 20th century which was the second world war the sheep died you know uh, for their cause, you know, like they're doing, like the heroes of today, of doctors and everything, you know. So, I'm, I'm waiting here in this town, which of course is uh, earthquaked by the elite. And, uh, but I have a little bit of um, 
a gap where to stay here. And I have my new umbrella, because it's raining, of course, as I expect. Uh, but the lady uh, gave me this umbrella that really helps. Because when you are walking and you put the poncho, you sweat. Uh, but with umbrella, it's much better, because uh, there's more uh, ari aeration. Oh, um, uh, but of course, with lots of rain and, and wind, the umbrella is not so good. So now I have to climb this mountain here, and then it's all uh, downhill to, to another town. Let's see what happens. Do I need to say more? Look how straight uh, in this forest these pine trees are, guys, and how long. It's unbelievable. They use this for the roof of the houses. Lots of branches have fallen in the in the truck here, and it's making the, the walk very hard. So this is Sunday, guys. Look where I, what I found. I'm inside a, a an earthquake um, building uh, that the sheeple has has left like this because they are not. Uh, the, the system tells them that you should not uh, live here anymore. Even though if you just, you know, fix some of these walls, you know, the structure is uh, intact, you know, but they don't let it. So this uh, small town where I, I am right now is totally abandoned. Well, not totally. I heard a few people. But now uh, I just wanted to show you uh, the condition of this thing because I think I, I will pass the night here because it's uh, it's closed also. So. Um, it, it's a mess right now, it's very uh, uh, sporco, obviously, unclean, but I saw that this table could very well be used to, to put my, because it can be folded up and, uh, and, you know, I can put my mattress here and sleep very well. So there is a bowl over there, maybe they have kids, uh, children, sorry, children, and um, there's a bathroom over there, but it's not accessible. There's only this um, uh, corner here, uh, but it's not uh, doesn't connect to anything else. There's a wall there. So let's see how it will uh, come out after I finish cleaning it. I don't know if you can see this guy, but this is the best I could do for for, for this with what I had in, in my possession. Still creepy, you know, but much cleaner. You know. And there, guys, I have a huge, huge spider, like I nev I've never seen before, like almost like my hand. And so I've trapped it there, and I will release it when I go away. Unbelievably huge. I thought he better be uh, outside my reach. You know. um, so there was also this uh, rug. How do you say? Which will, uh, you know, let me uh, you know, be more comfortable here. So this is the the last day, guys, of um, of the week four. Now this is how it looks with uh, my sleeping bag, that it's uh, and mattress. They're all waiting for me now, and I'll see you guys the next week.